Okay, I may, may, let, me, let me make myself clear, right? Because you keep asking me about things I don't told investigators in the past. <clears throat> from, I can't say from when to when, but so much was going on. My name was on everything. The police kept coming to grab me. Every time they grabbed me, I had a different story for them. I know 100% facts, and I'm telling you now. I was not truthful. I was saying whatever they wanted me to say. I was saying whatever I could come up with. I was I was trying my best to convince them that I didn't do nothing, that I'm an innocent person, and that people put their hands on me. When they asked me about any of these things, I, you, you sitting here keep asking me step by step by step by step. And I'm telling you now, because you asked me, was I being truthful? Okay. I know I wasn't being truthful. In some of those interviews, were you in custody? Were you arrested in some of those interviews? I, I think so. Okay. Do you recall telling detectives in those interviews that you're just trying to get out of jail? So I'm going to tell you all what happened so you can check it and I can get out of jail. Yeah, I was. I told the investigators that I remember. I think in one of the interviews, they they was locking me up, and my child birthday was coming up. And when they got me, I said, "Listen, man, whatever y'all want me to say, I will tell you right now. Just tell me what to say, and I will say it. Tell me what y'all want to know, and it, I, I will tell you." So if they would have asked me about if they would ask me about President Trump, I would have had a story about Trump. Listen to me. Listen to me now. You must watch this entire video. I know you're going to click off or you got other things to do. I promise you, you're going to want to watch this entire video. It is groundbreaking. It is nuclear. What the key witness in this entire RICO trial comes out with, this is the same guy. Okay. And I'm going to keep repeating it because a lot of people get confused. He is the same guy that Judge Glanville and the prosecutors had the secret ex, ex parte meeting with and threatened him that if he did not, if he did not testify, they were going to lock him up indefinitely that he told them, I'm going to lie on the stand. And they said, that's fine. We want you to lie on the stand. We won't prosecute you. He admitted that he's the one that did the murder. And they said, well, if you admit that on the stand, then we will prosecute you for perjury because we want to look like you're lying about it because we need to pin it on Young Thug and his co-defendants so that we can win this case. When you see what he exposes, it is going to blow your mind. It, you and Kel have said that the beef was over. You told Detective Gaither. You may answer the question, sir. Do you recall? I'll ask the question again. Do you recall Thug and Kel speaking while at the Cascade Skating Ring in 2015. I recall. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither about that phone call? Yes. Okay. What do you remember telling Detective Gaither about that phone call? My word for word? Whatever you remember. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't recall. Okay. <clears throat> Do you remember it's first time Detective Gaither that you and Kel had said that the beef was over? You told Detective Gaither that? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Do you recall, again, telling Detective Gaither in this interview that Kel asked you to call Thug? Yes. Do you recall what Thug said in 2015 to Kel? Yes. Yes, you remember what Thug said? I don't recall what was said. I don't remember what was said. Okay. I don't remember me talking to the investigators about it. All right. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither that when Kel got on the phone that Thug said the beef ain't over with until you pay for my window. You shot my window. Yes. Yes, you remember telling Detective Gaither that? I don't remember what I don't told the police. Okay. Let me ask you this. Are you just saying yes now to speed up your questioning? Most definitely. Okay.
Now, do you recall, do you recall <clears throat> independently that after Thug told Kel, beef ain't over with until you pay for my window, you shot my window, that you told Kel what you told Kel? Yes. What do you remember telling Kel? Yes. So you told Kel, yes? Yes. Do you recall telling Kel, look, what y'all got going on, this has nothing to do with me? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> do you recall also <clears throat> that you told Thug that your beef with Kel is over with? Yes. Okay. Do you recall what Thug said to you after you said that? Yes. What did he say to you? What did who say to me? What did Thug say to you? When? While he was on FaceTime at the Cascade Skating Ring. Who was on FaceTime at the Cascade Skating Ring? Do you remember testifying earlier that you told Detective Thorpe in January 11th that Kel and Thug. I don't remember what I told the investigator or Detective Thorpe or whatever. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither in this January 28th interview that Thug said, nigga, I don't care about none of it. What, look what y'all got going on. You still shot at me. Just pay for my window. You gonna pay for my window. Hey man, I ain't letting that go. Yes. Yes, you remember Thug saying that? Does it say that? You said yes, so I'm asking you, what do you remember? Because I keep telling you, I don't remember. You keep asking me questions, so I'm just saying yes. Okay, so... Are you saying... Yes, that's what you told Detective Gaither? <clears throat> I know I... I know I ain't complete school, but I, I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you would just answer the questions properly. I am answering the question. You ask me, I say yes, yes. You keep, when I say yes, you ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, did you just tell the court and this jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along? I think I said it loud and clear. So again, will you just answer the questions and we can move the process along? You keep asking, okay, yes. Is that, what are you answering yes to? Your question. Are you lying when you say yes? Huh? Are you lying when you say yes? Am I lying about what? Any question that I've asked you so far? Objection made. Oral, sir. I Judge Glanville threw his career away and the prosecutors threw theirs away and brought up on criminal charges just to get this guy to testify. You cannot make this ish up. I can't be lying because I told you up front that I don't recall. During the January 28th interview, after, let me ask you this. Do you remember back in 2015, after Thug and Kel got off the phone, did you speak with Kel any more about that conversation that he had with Thug? I don't recall. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither that Kel asked for you to call Nut so that y'all could talk about what his conversation was with Thug? I don't recall. Do you recall whether or not you just told Kel to just pay for the window? I don't recall having a conversation with Kel. Me and him would never have a conversation together. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither, so you hung up the phone and me and Kel started talking like, man, bro, it's over, bro. Just pay for the window. I don't talk like that. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither 
that Kel's response was, I pay for a window, that nigga tried. Say that again. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither that Kel's response to you was, I pay for a window, that nigga tried me? I said it. I, I'm trying to understand what, who said what. I'm asking you, do you recall telling Detective Gaither? Oh, rules, sir. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither that? I don't recall. All right. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither that she said you got a you told Kel you got a problem with Thug, you don't have a problem with me? You asking me what now? I'm asking you, do you remember telling Detective Gaither that in response to what Kel said, you said to Kel, you got a problem with Thug, you don't have a problem with me. So why am I talking to Kel if that, if that was true? I, I don't recall. Okay. I don't recall. Okay. Thank you. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither also about the night at Club Crucial when um, Kel hit you in the back of the head? I probably did. Okay. Do you recall going into more detail with Detective Gaither about what happened that Monday that Kel punched you in the back of the head? You say that again? Sure. Do you remember going in more detail with Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis about that Monday night at Crucial? Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know the recall. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither about the type of money that you had? You had a whole bunch of hundreds and a whole bunch of twenties. Probably so. Do you remember saying that or you don't remember? I don't remember. Any, I don't remember what we, when they was questioning me, whatever I said, I don't recall what I said. Okay. It was just, I can't repeat what I said because I just said what I said. And what you told them was that the truth about what happened that Monday at Club Crucial? I told them whatever whatever I said to them is what I told them. So when they asked me questions, whatever I thought I wanted to say, that's what I said. Was it the truth or were you just making stuff up? I don't recall what I was telling them, so I can't answer that. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither in a little more detail that you walked up and you tried to dap up Kel, but he did not grab your hand? I'm not walking up, dap nobody up. Do you remember saying to Detective Gaither, so they walked up, like, is it good, bro? I'm like, yeah, all good. I reached out the other hand, but he didn't grab my hand. I don't recall saying it. Okay. Do you recall seeing an individual named Pokey at Club Crucial on this same night where Cal punched you in the back of the head? <laughs> okay, I may, may, let, me, let me make myself clear, right? Because you keep asking me about things I don't told investigators in the past. <clears throat> from, I can't say from when, to win, but so much was going on. My name was on everything. The police kept coming to grab me. Every time they grabbed me, I had a different story for them. I know 100% facts, and I'm telling you now, I was not truthful. I was saying whatever they wanted me to say. I was saying whatever I could come up with. I was, I was trying my best to convince them that I didn't do nothing, that I'm an innocent person, and that people put their hands on me. When they ask me about any of these things, I, you, you sitting here keep asking me step by step by step by step. And I'm telling you now, because you asked me, was I being truthful? Okay. I know I wasn't being truthful. So is your testimony today that you lied in every interview that you did in 2015? Well, see, see, you, you, the way you're asking that, I don't recall what I was saying in the interviews, but I'm telling you now, when they was questioning me 
2015, 14, whenever they was questioning me, I was lying. I was making up stories. So when they were asking me about this right here, I was making it up. When they were asking me about this right here, I was making it up. And when, when they, and they was getting me and they were letting me go, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you. Do you recall telling every detective? Every time they got me, I have told them police, I tell y'all whatever y'all want to hear, just let me go. Do you recall telling every detective in every interview, you got to believe me, I'm telling y'all the truth? Okay. This sound like me. Do you recall telling every detective in every interview that you can go fact check what I'm telling you? Say that again? Sure. Do you recall telling every detective in every interview that you had in 2015, you can go check what I'm saying so you can believe me? Probably, I don't, I don't know if I said it or I ain't said it. In some of those interviews, were you in custody? Were you arrested in some of those interviews? I, I think so. Okay. Do you recall telling detectives in those interviews that you're just trying to get out of jail, so I'm going to tell you all what happened so you can check it and I can get out of jail? Yeah, I, was, I told the investigators that I remember, I think... And one of the interviews, they they was locking me up, and my child birthday was coming up. And when they got me, I said, "Listen, man, whatever y'all want me to say, I will tell you right now. Just tell me what to say, and I will say it. Tell me what y'all want to know, and it, I, I will tell you." So if they would ask me about, if they would ask me about President Trump, I would have had a story about Trump. If they would ask me about you, I would have had a story about you. Whatever to convince them that I ain't do nothing, it wasn't me. That's what my intentions was. So, so you're asking me about interviews, and I keep telling you, you keep asking me step by 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 step. This is what I did. When it got me on this day, and I was going to jail, I try to come up with something to, to tell them. I, that's why I can't tell you what I said. I was making it up. What benefit would it be for you to lie to the police if you were trying not to be in trouble? I was hoping to convince them so they could let me go. So why would you lie to convince them? What you mean? Why would I lie to, to, to convince them? Right. Why would you lie to convince them if you wanted to not go to jail? Why would I lie to convince them to not go to jail? Right. But they don't know that I'm lying. Well, they didn't let you go immediately, did they? Sometimes they let me go. Right. But so I mean, when the time they let me go, I thought I was smarter than them. Did the detective say that they had to fact check what you said before they let you go? Can you say that again? Sure. Did the detectives tell you that they had to fact check what you were telling them? And, and you know, in certain situations. Right. And so what benefit would it be to lie if they told you that they had to fact check it? Oh, it was no benefit because what they did was they picked and choose where they wanted to take from me. And they still left me in jail. So they came back and beat me in the butt. Okay. So going back to my question from January 28th, 2015. <sighs> Did you see Pokey at the club? Do you want me to be honest with you? I, I think I just did. I just told you the God and the truth of what I did from January, uh, 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 from 2014 until 20, the 21. Every time they got me, I, they already know me. They already know I got a whole bunch of bullshit to say. I'm going to ask you to refrain from cursing. What? Oh, 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 sorry, everybody. No disrespect. Uh, I'm sorry about it. But oh rules, sir. Oh rules, sir. What harm would have come from telling the truth about you and your friends? Can you explain it? Sure. What harm? What why would you need to lie if you were just trying to tell them about what you and your friends were doing? What? I sustain the objection. Going back to the January 28th interview, understanding that you said you lied, did you tell Detective Gaither that you saw Pokey in Club Crucial on the Monday night where um, <clears throat> Kel knocked you in the back of the head? I don't recall what I said. Do you know who Pokey is? Yes, I do. Who is Pokey? A friend. Of who? Me. Okay. Is Pokey related to anyone? What you mean? Is Pokey related to Thug? Uh, is he related to Thug? Yes, sir. I, he may, I, I can't, I, he might be. Have you previously told police that Pokey is Thug's nephew? 
Well, if I did, then I guess he is. Okay. Since you're saying that everything is a lie in all of these um, interviews, in January 28th, did you tell Detective Gaith and Detective Guinness on the same Monday at Crucial that you walked to the kitchen and everyone was looking back and everybody was walking behind you? Can you say that again? Sure. Did you tell Detective Gaither on that, inter excuse me, <clears throat> did you tell Detective Gaither in that January 28th interview that while you were at Club Crucial that you walked towards the kitchen, you looked back and you saw everybody walking behind you? I don't recall what I told investigator, uh, detective, whichever one. The star witness just said that he lied about the whole thing. He is trying, to, he just said whatever he had to say at the time so he can get out of jail. And they are going forward. This is who tried to plead the fifth on Monday. I mean, on last Friday. And then they locked him up over the weekend. So then he said he's going, he told them in the ex parte meeting, he's going to lie on the stand because that's what he does. He just lies to get out of things, which is what he's doing now. He's just saying, he was saying, yes, he admitted it on the stand. How are they going forward? <laughs> what is happening okay i gotta bring you more of his testimony but this is shocking this should be automatically a mistrial we've had so many things that make a mistrial but this automatic reversal outside of the crimes of the da the prosecutor and and this corrupt fulton county judge this entire case is a farce he actually admitted that he is the killer in chambers in that illegal ex parte meeting but they are still charging Young Thug and his co-defendants for all of this. Look at, if, I've never seen anything like this in my life, ever. And he's not the only witness. I'm gonna be bringing you guys details and, and even some of the older clips from this trial to show you, to catch you guys up because I know everyone hasn't paid attention to it, but you have to. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this also. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You're not going to miss a single drop of my updates. And I will see you guys on the next one.